Probability. Let's get going with this. This is always a little more fun. Get some games going. See how good you are at games. See the likelihood. See if things are fair. All right, so let's talk about probability. What is probability? Okay, so probability is the way we say this is it's the measure of likelihood, okay? Or it's another way of saying it, the chance of something happening, right? The chances of something happening. So we, we use this sort of these terms all the time, but we don't necessarily use them mathematically. So let's talk about then what they mean. All right, so when we do a measure of likelihood, we're going to measure on a scale from 0 to 1, okay? So if we think about this as a percent, then 0 is actually 0 percent, okay? And 1 would be 100 percent, okay? And then if you think of the chances of it happening, okay, if something is a 0 percent chance of happening, this means it's never going to happen, okay? So something you could do this would you could say um, the chances of the uh, of rolling a seven on one uh, number cube okay or um, the ch what's the chances of getting uh, of your birthday being on the 35th day of the month okay this is zero percent chance never happening okay so 100 percent is always right it's always going to happen so what are the chances of flipping a coin and getting a heads or a tails right You're, well that's always going to happen and those are the only two things that can happen okay well then something you know then you have this thing that's sort of like in the middle right so 0 0.5 right which would be 50 percent well this is sort of like even chances right even, right? Um, it's a, this is why they say 50-50, right? You have a 50-50 chance. It's, you know, like sometimes going to happen, right? Or like sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. It's an even, even opportunity, okay? Uh, in between 0 and 50% is 25%, right? So then this is going to be 0 0.25. And this is sort of saying not likely, okay? Not likely. Sometimes people will say it's rare, right? Rarely will happen. Although I think you need to be closer to here for it to be rarely, okay? So rarely is maybe a little bit closer this way. So not likely. Um, not very probable, right? 25% if you want to do a fraction, right? This would be one-fourth, okay? This would be one-half, okay? Um, and then between 50 and 100%, we have 75%, right? And then we could say this is pretty likely. Likely, right? Maybe we say it often. It happens often. And this would be 3 fourths, which would be 0 0.75, okay? Lots of different ways to look at this idea of probability. Okay, well, let's talk about how do we actually get these numbers? Where did these numbers come from? So a couple things we need to talk about, and there's some vocab, and I want you to pause the video. I'm just going to go quickly over them. Pause the video, and you write it down. So an outcome is a possible result, okay? It's something that can happen, right? So like if I'm rolling a number cube, uh, a number cube my, uh, you know, like a die, if I roll it, my chances of my choices or outcomes are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6, okay? If I'm flipping a, an American penny, my choices or my outcomes are a, a heads or a tail. Okay. An event is an outcome or a possible outcome that we're sort of choosing, right? So if I'm doing a, if I'm rolling a die, a number cube, and I want to say, what's the probability of getting a one? Okay. The event that I'm looking for is getting a one. Okay. It's a sort of a specific thing. Okay. So there's really two different types of probability. There's one that's called theoretical probability, and that is when we calculate the favorable outcomes over the total possibilities. Okay. And when we do theoretical, we're sort of saying, these are the things that should happen. We look before we actually do it. You sort of look at it on paper. Okay. And we look to see, we sort of calculate it before actually doing something. And then you have this thing called experimental probability. Okay. Which is when you actually perform it. So you do a whole bunch of uh, experiments and what we've been doing with our, um, you know, what we've been tallying up the numbers that show up in the multiplication problems, that's an experimental probability, right? Well, so we're doing the number of successes over the number of trials. So this just says, you know, how many times did we do something, right? And this would be how many times did the thing that we're looking for happen, right? So for a lot of you guys, we'll do the probability of of all of the times that we counted the numbers, right? So if your number is four, then every time number, number four showed up, that would be a success, okay? And that's what experimental probability is. 
So here's that's the difference. This is what sort of should happen, and this is what actually does happen when you try it. All right, so let's do this. Let's find some probabilities, okay? And so this, what this looks like is the capital P here is the probability of something happening, okay? The parentheses too, this is the event, okay? The, so what I'm looking for is here, as I'm saying, what's the probability of getting a two on this spinner? Okay, now this would be a, uh, an experiment or a theoretical probability if we decide we're going to do it beforehand, okay? So we're going to look and we're going to say, okay, well, what is the probability? So if you look at your notes, the way you can do this is you say, okay, what are the possible, total possible outcomes? So I like to think of all the possible ways you can do this, the total possibilities, before I ever find how many actually work. So in this case, let's just count. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 different choices. All of them are unique. All of them are different. And all of them have an equal probability, right? Like each of these looks like it's about the same size, right? Not one of them isn't like way bigger. Or, you know, it's not, that, that's not happening. They're all about the same size. And that's important. The possibilities need to be um, equal. Um, sorry, equally, they have an equal chance of happening, okay? Um, so looking at this, there's 10 possibilities. Well, how can you get a two? Well, you can get a two one way, right? The two shows up here. That's it. The only way it shows up is there. All right. So that would be my experimental problem or my prop theoretical probability. And if I wanted to change this into a decimal, I'd get 0 0.1. And if I wanted to change this into a percent, I'd end up with 10%. So it has a 10% chance of happening, which is not very good. Um, that's pretty low, right? If we go back and we look at our, you know, if you look at your number line, a 10% is a lot closer to zero. Okay. Well, let's talk about the probability of getting an even number. Well, why don't you go ahead and you try figuring that one out, Go. Okay. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look at what are the total possibilities here, right? Again, there are 10 numbers on this number line or on this, uh, on this spinner and how many of them are even? Okay. Well, let's look at it. Zero is even, two is even, four is even, six is even, eight is even. So I've got one, two, three, four, five different ways that I can get an even number. Okay. Five different ways. In fact, let me erase those real quick. So I got five different ways out of 10. Well, if I simplify that, that means one out of two. So this sort of means like every other time that I spin this thing, I should get an even number. Okay. So that would be the, um, my theoretical probability. Okay. And this would be equal to 0 0.5, right? Which would be equal to 50%. Okay, so I have even chances, right? An even chance of getting it above or <clears throat> an even number or an odd number. Well, let's do this. Let me just go ahead and let's go and we'll, we'll, we'll try it. We'll do, I'll spin it 10 times and we'll count how many times I get an even and I should get, um, it should be five and five, right? Should be, that's the way it should happen. But we'll see if it does happen, okay? So we'll spin it, okay? Even number once. Okay, spin it, even number again, spin it, ah. uh, odd number, that was three, four, Okay, another odd, that was five. Ooh, barely even, four. Another even. Ooh, seven. This is spin number eight. We got another even. Spin number nine. Odd. And last one, we got another odd, okay? So in our experimental probability here, we had 6 out of 10, which would be 3 fifths, which is 0 0.6, which is equal to 60%, right? So we actually ended up with a higher probability of getting an even number when we actually spun it, okay? All right, let's move on. So sometimes you'll have things like this. We have the letter, the word Illinois, right? The state of Illinois. What I want to know is if you took each of those letters, cut them up on a piece of paper, dropped them into a hat, and then randomly selected your one out of there, what is the probability of selecting an L? 
Okay, well, why don't you go ahead and you try doing that right now. Go. Okay, well, hopefully you looked at this and you said, okay, well, how many choices do I have here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight choices. There are how many L's? There are two of those are L's, which equals one-fourth, which is a 0 0.25 or a 25% chance of selecting an L. Okay, well, now let's try what is the probability that I'm going to select a vowel? Okay, you go. Okay, well, let's see. We had the same number of letters, and we have to see how many of these are vowels, right? So there's one, two, three, four. So I get a four out of eight chance, which is one half, which is equal to 0 0.5, which is equal to 50%. So I have a 50 50 chance of selecting a vowel or a non vowel called a consonant. All right. Now, here's another classic problem. If I look at this and I say, okay, I randomly have all of these shapes and colors, right? And I'm going to stick them into a bag and I'm going to select them. And let's say I have an equal chance of selecting any of them, right? Like one of them isn't way bigger. They're all about the same size, okay? So I randomly select it. What is the probability of getting a, uh, we'll say, a triangle? Okay, so let's see. First, we need to say, what are the, all the possible ways I can get anything, right? Well, let's see. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, <clears throat> five red triangles. Okay, so if I take this, and I'm going to turn it into a percent. So let's pull up the calculator real quick, because 5 12 doesn't divide very evenly very nicely. 5 twelfths is 40. We'll round this off to 42%. So I have a 42% chance of <clears throat> selecting a red triangle. All right, so let's do this. Let me actually, it was 0 0.42, right? It was 0 0.416 repeating. I round it to 0 0.42, so 42% chance, okay? So that means if, if there were 100 ch chances of doing this, 42 times I would pick a triangle. All right, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take, I want you to write two questions from this page right here. I want you to come up with two other questions. Um, and answers on your own, and then we'll check those tomorrow in class as well. Okay.